Hey, what's everyone? What's up, everyone? Uh, quick follow up. We did about an eight minute video on the aux fuel wiring for our 2016 Ford Focus ST. Um, and we did not cover the green wire that goes to the split second controller that I've got just kind of dangling down here right now. I've got the whole front clip on this car removed uh, because I just got the built motor back from Speed Performance. Uh, so everything's a lot easier to get to for me. Uh, the, the harness here that goes to the map sensor. This is the factory map sensor clip here. This is a map sensor adapter. We have a five bar map sensor that we got from Dizzy Tuning. Uh, anyway, this harness here that goes to the map sensor is normally loomed up with this harness over here that goes to the high pressure fuel rail pressure sensor. Um, they had to be split because with the four port aux fuel rail in, the manifold sits further back and they wouldn't, wouldn't both reach uh, to the map sensor and to the fuel rail pressure sensor. Um, all of the instructions I was able to find were for a 2013-2014 Ford Focus ST and they listed a gray wire with a purple stripe. However, if you have a 2015 or newer uh, Focus ST, your wires are not that color. Uh, now these are a little faded, but you can still kind of see the color. Um, some of them just say to use the leftmost wire. However, depending on how you're looking at the connector, you may or may not know which one you want. Um, this green wire that I've dropped over here uh, is the signal wire for the split second controller so that it can it can see the return voltage on the boost sensor the map sensor and uh, that way it knows when to fire your your auxiliary injectors there uh, ordinarily this wire is wired into the yellow and black harness that actually goes over I've got it routed this way and you can see why I, I loomed this up taped it up and I've got mine routed underneath the inject or the ignition coils here uh, let me get this out of the way that's actually gonna be our power and ground there you can see it's a little cleaner looking doing it this way uh, we've got the harness adapter here uh, from uh, speed performance so everything was plug-and-play uh, and then that whole harness, basically we, we tried to hide it the best we could here. Uh, there's a lot of space underneath the ignition coils between the coil and the, uh, valve cover. So we've just kind of got that routed through there, uh, just for a cleaner look. You know, I mean, like I said, when you back up and look at it like this, you know, you really can't tell what's going on. It looks normal. It looks stock. Uh, I like the the low key incognito look. But anyway, um, I went ahead and split the, uh, the mesh cover here that's wrapping these wires uh, because I am not going to be routing my green wire in the same direction as the signal wires for the ignition coils because of the way I ran them. Uh, the injector harness is gonna come out over the manifold here and because this harness is right here on the top of the manifold I'm going to reroute it that green wire with the injector wires over here uh, and what they will do is eventually I'll have them both routed together all the way up to about here where this plugs in and goes that way uh, this the other harness, the injector harness part, I'm actually going to route up along here and it's going to come this way. Uh, so that green wire is going to be, like I said, rerouted for me just because I feel like it's gonna be a cleaner appearance. Um, anyway, I'm getting way off topic here. Uh, the 2015, 2016, 17, and 18 Ford Focus, they changed the wiring colors because for some reason they felt like they needed to. Uh, you've got a blue wire with a white stripe right here. 
that is your 5 volt reference coming from the PCM. You got yellow green in the middle, uh, yellow with a green stripe. Uh, that's your ground wire or your return wire, whatever you want to call it. Ford actually refers to it as a return wire. This last wire over here is solid blue. And actually, if you look at it, where it was all taped up and, and hidden inside the factory wire loom, it, it actually looks kind of green. But over here toward where it goes in, you can see that it's, it's actually a solid blue wire. There's no stripes. And that is the wire that you want to tap into for your split second controller uh, for the signal feed uh, from your map sensor is this solid blue wire right here. Uh, everybody's instructions say the one all the way to the left, but if you're looking at the connector like this, it's all the way over on the right. If you're looking at it from the back, it's all the way over on the left. Uh, so the, the term left is kind of uh, subjective so I just figured I would clear that up it's the solid blue wire on the pre 2015 focus the pre facelift focus it is a gray wire with a purple stripe but on ours it's a solid blue wire that's your your signal wire uh, from the map sensor and that's what the split second controller taps into in order to see how much boost pressure you're running because pretty much uh, everything below 1500 RPM it doesn't even read RPM and everything above that uh, your your split second controller is tunable to fire uh, and the pulse width is variable depending on how much boost it's seeing how much RPM it's seeing uh, so that is the wire that is the right one for that and that was just driving me nuts, man. I spent so much time trying to figure it out. I finally just went on all data. Not everybody has access to all data, so I figured I would go ahead and just post a real quick video here. Uh, once I get all this cleaned up, uh, then I may do another short video showing everything that I did um, because it will be so much, so much cleaner than what you see here. This is all just kind of draped here, like I said. I'm kind of installing this stuff as I put the car back together. Uh, so, you know, you can see pretty much from the, from the valve cover on back, everything's done. And then everything on the front of the car is still just kind of a work in progress. I didn't even have the intake manifold on in my last video. Um, once I get that done, the controller here will actually mount right there on top of the fuse uh, cover uh, and we'll have everything routed nice and clean I'll go over a video with that probably won't be too long and you can see exactly how I routed everything in order to try and keep everything hidden and then I'll have one more video where I discuss what I did to plumb the rail the high pressure fuel pump and the fuel line you can see I've got AN fittings on all of those uh, that I got from Racetronics, a company out of Canada. Uh, even during COVID and the pandemic and when everything was shut down, they were incredibly fast with shipping. Uh, these are connectors that you can get in whatever size diameter you need. Uh, I believe the focus is 5 sixteenths. And what happens is right back here, you see where this little line is right here? This part here threads into this part here. This part here slides onto the factory 5 16 connection point. It's got O rings on the inside. And, you know, it basically turns your factory fuel system into an AN ready kit. Uh, they do also offer quick disconnect fittings like the factory ones. That's what a lot of the performance shops are using. I like this better. I think it looks clean as hell. Uh, and I really look forward to what it's going to look like when I get done. Uh, so that'll probably be part of the next video too. Anyway, I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, I will talk to you again soon.